Hello everybody, Michaela Love here. Today I wanted to share with you one of the exercises that me and my team do very, very often with the horses here at Love Horsemanship. Today I'm gonna be demonstrating with George. George is a two-year-old Hanoverian gelding who's here for pre-saddle training. So that means we're doing all sorts of things with him to get him acting like a partner, learning how to use his body in balance and building his confidence so that when the day comes for us to put a saddle and a rider on him, it is no big deal. So one of my favorite things to teach all. So with every exercise, we're putting lots of pieces together. So the way I like to set my horses up for success is by practicing each piece individually before I put it together. So I think about it like a recipe Right before I start cooking dinner, I'm gonna make sure that I have every single ingredient that is required for that dish to be absolutely delicious. So in this exercise, there are a couple things that I know need to be um, working really well. Number one is my horse's understanding of going sideways. Do they understand how to cross their front end and back end simultaneously? And can they do that without getting worried? Second is can my horse halt on a straight line and then ultimately halt on the line of the circle. These are two pieces that I need working really well before I accomplish sideways on the circle. So we're going to take a look at how to introduce those two concepts or maybe reinforce them and get them working even better before we go to the exercise. So if you need help teaching your horse to go sideways down the fence, you can check out some of the other videos that I have on this YouTube channel. The other piece of sideways on the circle that you want to have working really well is your horse's ability to halt on the line of the circle. Now I like to do that using the fence because the fence is going to act like training wheels for baby boy George here and it's going to eliminate one of his options which will just make it easier for him to find the right answer which is always the goal. So what I'm going to do is send him on a circle around me here and my goal is to ask him to halt in between me and the letter E which is directly behind him. Okay? I like to condition my horses to halt with an auditory noise so I make a loud exhale like an audible exhale sound when I want my horses to halt. So I'm going to use that and then my tools and my lead rope if I need to to cause him to halt in between me and E. And we're just gonna keep playing with this until we've conditioned that response and he understands how to halt off of my breath in a straight line. Here we go. So as he's traveling here on the circle, I'm gonna keep my belly button forward because I want it really clear to him to just maintain the walk on the circle. Next time he's approaching where his nose is approaching E, I'm gonna do my cue for halt, then use my lead rope to support if I need to. So now I'll turn my belly button forward, wiggle. really important here he missed it right he blew way past the marker but instead of losing my focus on the task I'm just gonna back him up to that spot and make it really clear that rest and comfort lives at that marker I had originally set you can see once he stopped there he already licked his lips so we're gonna try again I'm going to not talk this time so that I can stay focused but notice that my cue for the halt is gonna be I change my belly button from forward on the circle to facing him and I exhale at the same time.
All right, now that we have some language as it pertains to going sideways and halting in a line off of my breath, now we're gonna put it together and see if we can combine sideways and the circle. Now the biggest thing that I want you to understand and become aware of through this video is how powerful our belly button is. So when I send my horse on the circle and I'm allowing them to just travel on the circle, my belly button will be facing forward like this. This makes it really clear then when I want my horse to halt and go sideways, I'm gonna change the orientation of my belly button and turn and face my horse like this. My energy and my intention all lives here. So as I'm facing my horse, I'm literally saying in my brain, like in my head, George, I want you to go sideways. And my visual focus is gonna be up and over his wither. That makes it really clear for the horses, something changed and I better get out of the way because now she's walking through that space. All right, so let's give it a go and see if we can help him understand how to go forward and sideways and forward and sideways on a circle. All right, so I am super proud of him. I'm very happy with how well he just did, how willing he was. That was his first time ever putting, learning those two pieces and putting those two pieces together. Now, I wanna just bring to your awareness a couple other things that I think about with this exercise. You may have noticed, I hope you noticed, when he eventually did the sideways well, and I turned my belly button forward again, that I kept my feet still until he took the first couple of steps forward again on the circle. For me, in my mind, this is like practicing my transitions when I'm riding. If you've ever taken traditional riding lessons, you've heard somebody say, get the horse in front of your seat. The horse should be in front of your seat. And that is exactly what you're practicing if you're particular about that on the ground. When I take my energy from here forward, he should take the first couple of steps and then I follow behind him. That will teach him to someday carry me in the saddle and have snappy upward transition. So I'm gonna be particular about that now, even though he's two and not under saddle yet. Now, another thing I want you to be aware of is the psychology aspect behind this. So I use this to teach my horse eventually walk to canter transitions on the ground and under saddle. Because when you think about it from the horse's perspective, what is easier? Is it easier to go directly sideways with no forward motion or is it easier to trot or canter? It's way easier to go forward. So I often joke that horse training is nothing more than giving your horse perspective. So when I push my horse sideways, I'm giving them perspective. This is hard. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of responsibility. Oh, do you want to just trot forward? And all of a sudden the forward to the trot seems like the best option in the world. So that's the psychology I'm building in right now that I want forward to become the release right now so that in a couple of months when I wanna teach him um, a snappy trot transition or walk to canter, I can do that and he's already thinking forward is the release, forward is the place to go. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this gives you something fun to play with with you and your horse. And if you have any questions, of course, comment below or get in touch with me directly.